The Heart Summary of Adi Dam The only by me revealed and given avataric divine way of Adi Dam, which is the one and only by me revealed and by me given way of the heart, is the way of devotion to me as the divine Atma Murti or as the inherently egoless and sub-evidently divine person of reality and truth in place as self-condition rather than as exclusively objective other. Therefore, in every moment, my true devotee whole bodily and thus by means of the spontaneous me-recognising devotional response of all four of the principal psychophysical faculties of attention, emotional feeling, breath and perceptual body locates me as that which is always already the case prior to, but not separate from, the form, the exercise and the any object of the four psychophysical faculties. Happiness itself, or inherent loveless sufficiency of being, is always already the case. Happiness itself, or the divinely self-sufficient loveless condition of being itself, is that which is always already the case. Happiness itself, or loveless radiance of boundlessly feeling being, is the most prior condition of existence, or of conscious being itself. Happiness itself, or the condition of loveless radiance, must be realised in and as every conditionally arising moment, by transcending self-contraction, or all of separate and separative self, or psychophysical ego I, and all of the ego's objects or conditions of existence, or indeed all of the illusions of self and not self. When attention is facing outward, or is turned out, as if to outside itself. The body-mind is concentrated upon the view or field of apparently separate objects and upon me as objective other. When attention is facing inward or is turned in as if upon itself, the body-mind is concentrated upon the point of view of apparently separate self and upon me as separate consciousness. When attention is devotionally yield to whole bodily locate me as that which is always already and divinely the case, all difference, whether of ego I or of object and other, is inherently transcended in consciousness itself, all self-existing being, which is love, bliss, happiness itself, and which is always already the case. Therefore, to the degree that you surrender whole bodily, to be and do truly relational and ecstatic or ego-transcending devotional love of me, as the true loved one, the divine beloved of the heart, you are thus and thereby established whole bodily and inherently in the non-contracted condition or self-condition or inherent condition of reality itself, which is consciousness itself and love bliss itself and which is always already the case. In due course, this devotional practice is perfect and, at last, to be most perfectly realised.